You know, a week is a long time when there's nothing to drive you hysterical with anger. I turned to queer kid stuff with designs on raising my fist to the sky and letting rip a cathartic roar that the gods of gay would let such an abomination continue to plague the earth. But what did they release this week? Fucking Playdate with Miriam. That's the last time I get excited over the idea of two lesbians playing with each other. So to get our dose of this personification of gonorrhea, we're gonna have to go way back to the very beginning. The genesis, if you will, of queer kid stuff. So ready the flux capacitor, charge to 1.21 gigawatts, and let's get this bitch to 88 miles an hour. We're going vintage. Hey, welcome to queer kid stuff. Jeez, Lindsay, I know we're all shit when we first start off on YouTube, but did you really have to film in Michael Jackson's basement? This is fucking eerie. Me and my teddy were friends for life. Oh no, that just makes it more freaky. You know, every situation can be made sinister by getting some kids to sing. All of us together is such a delight. They did not enjoy singing that, did they? That was done with the air of someone who has been held captive for weeks. Actually, if we go back and listen again, this time if we reduce some of the... Yeah, and, and bring up the background noise. All of us together Please let me go. Aha! Busted! Teddy, you had a really good question for me yesterday. What was it again? What are those? Lindsay, yesterday I heard someone say the word gay. What does gay mean? You've got Google, Teddy, you piece of shit bear. You know, as more episodes are released and he asks more questions, we come to realise Teddy is actually some kind of sex-obsessed deviant who will probably go on to shoot up a high school after Lindsay finds some disturbing images on his computer. I'm just saying, if that happens, you all owe me a beer. You're in a playpen with a talking bear, Lindsay. We all know your target audience can't fucking read yet. Sometimes when you hear the word gay, it might mean happy. I'm not gonna lie, the beginning of the Flintstones did confuse me like that. When they say, we'll have a gay old time, there I was, as a little kid, thinking, well, now do I really want to see what's coming up next then? Mind you, that was when I was a kid. Nowadays, I can't stop thinking of Betty and Wilma together. Like, if I went to recess yesterday and I had a really great time, it made me feel gay. Lindsay, you're a fucking adult. You walk into a police station and say you went to recess and it made you feel gay. I'm sure they could find you the help you need. Or happy. But most of the time, when you hear the word gay, it probably means something else. And that has to do with love. The love of certain types of sexy bits. Sexuality has nothing to do with love, Lindsay. And I want to see you explain prison rape. Fucking hell, you brag that you're one of the only resources for LGBT fucking pie to the power of my dick education. But you don't even do that, do you? If you've got to lie to them, Lindsay, then they don't need to know about it yet. So, gay means when one person of one gender loves someone of the same gender. But if everyone's gender is unique, how is that possible? Boom! You've just been SJW'd. Do not pass go, do not collect your patriarchy dollars. Like, if a boy loves a boy, they're a gay couple. There's always a bit of awkwardness when Lindsay talks about gay men, isn't there? It's like that's not the type of homosexuality she wants to talk about. Well, I mean, clearly it isn't. Look at her hair. But she's like, no, no, I want to talk about the clean one. And if a girl loves a girl, they're a gay couple too. And even if a teddy loves a teddy, they're going to be a gay couple. Whoa, whoa, hold the fuck up. First, if there are two gay girls in a room together, they won't automatically be a couple. Poor kids are like, shit, I wonder who I'll get. And secondly, if a teddy loves a teddy, how the fuck are they gay? That's like a fucking species, not a gender. Look at Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head for further reference. You're destroying everything the kids hold dear. They're like, great, I didn't know what gay was until two minutes ago, and now I learn all my toys are homosexual. That kid isn't sleeping for weeks, Lindsay. His soft animals are exchanging their stuffing with each other, his G.I. Joe is twerking in the corner, and that bucket of army men is a fucking orgy. That's what gay means. Gay means love. That's just not true, though. That's not what gay means at all. Y you're not even fucking up the kids in the way that you said you would. Teddy, I have a question for you now. What does your family look like? Where did that question come from? That sounds really threatening, like she's going to try and find them and give them a poorly thought out lecture in gaydom. My parents are two bears. 
Well, no fucking shit, you fucking bint. If he'd have said a bear and a person, that would require another video explaining just what the fuck that was about. Queer kid stuff does bestiality, but it's not about fucking animals, it's about loving them. And it would still end up on the fucking YouTube Kids app. Wow, that's so different from what my family's like. What? Disappointed in you? I have a mom and a dad, but I also have a stepmom and a stepdad. Oh, I see. So you thought, hey, if my childhood was ruined, then I'll ruin everyone else's. Bang! Some people like to fuck people of the same gender, and you might be one of them. Bang! Some people have their dicks cut off because they don't want them anymore, and you might be one of them. Bang! Trump is president, and that's scary because he's going to kill you. Our families look so different from each other. And I bet your family looks different too. Oh right, I see, we're getting onto same-sex parents now. Okay, even though if a kid in a classroom has same-sex parents, the other kids are already growing up without seeing that as an abnormality and are probably more qualified on the matter to lecture you on it than you are them. Let's talk about what some of those families might look like. Some families might have a mom and a dad. Huh, gendered colours. Kinda surprising coming from Lindsay. And judging by their eyes, they are obviously Westerners, so you know, racist. But some families might also have a mom and a mom, or a dad and a dad. And if that's you, then you're probably adopted, right Lindsay? Oh yes, we're ripping off bandages all over the place tonight. And some families might even just have one mom or one dad, and some families might have many moms or many dads. Well, it seems a bit greedy though, when there are kids with only one parent and other kids with more than enough to share. I'm also noticing how this show isn't catering very well to orphans. These families all look so different from each other, but what matters is that we're all family. Oh yeah, no, fuck the orphans then. Lindsay hates orphans. They don't deserve to be gay or trans. Either that, or she thinks they've gone through enough without having to be subjected to her videos. It's one or the other, but yeah, she probably hates them. Now that we've learned what all of these different kinds of families look like, we want to know what your family looks like. Well, that's just dodgy. I'm surprised in later episodes she isn't like, quickly scan your parents' credit card and send me the picture. And look at this piece of shit right here. It's fucking bad when the sanest person in the room is a gay bear. And you don't know yet, Teddy, because this is the first episode, but you and I are gonna have some mad beef in the future. You better prepare yourself because I am gonna fuck your shit up, boy. So there we have it. A quick trip down memory lane, if memory lane is the name of the street where you once got bummed. Hopefully series 2 will be out as soon as Lindsay manages to get Teddy off the crack. But with any luck, Teddy will OD, the show will get cancelled, and Lindsay will go back to giving ukulele lessons in exchange for a rough hand job. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, it's not gay if you don't push back.